what's up guys? I'm Vanessa. Welcome back to my channel. I kind of want to zoom in a little bit. I can't really tell how bad the lighting is because I'm staying kind of far away. Let's zoom her in just a tad more. This is nice. This is cozy. Do you guys feel at home? Okay. Now we can get started. So if you don't know, I have sleeping issues. This has nothing to do with this video, but I just want to let you guys know that I just took a fat nap. So if I am like a little bit um rocky, it's because I slept five hours every night this entire week. I didn't realize that there was that like little thing on my camera lens. I had no idea, so I'm so sorry, but it's kind of gonna be in like the next few videos. I'm sorry. One of the most commonly ah, oh, I want to put my feet up, but like I don't want you guys to see my feet. No free feet photos. One of the most cons common, that's the word. It's for you guys to ask me is, hey, how do you edit your Instagram photos? I've never really shared, and I feel like I don't know why. I just never thought maybe I should make a video about it since so many people ask. That's what I'm doing right now. You don't follow me already on Instagram. That's Nagoya. I'll sit over to the side so my screen can be right here because I'm a, my flashlight is on. I was gonna say, because I'm a good YouTuber, but my flashlight is on. I tried to screen record and my flashlight was on. Before I get into actually how I edit my photos, I want to share some quick tips. Everything I do basically to get the photo before I edit it, I always like to wear something that's stands out a little bit. Honestly, your best Instagram picture is something that you feel comfortable in. I like wearing these because it stands out and people are always like, oh my gosh, I love your sweater. Where'd you get it? Especially when it goes with a plain background. Let me... Gabby's here. I'll always have a friend take my photos. I can't take pictures by myself. It's too hard. When I'm taking pictures, I'm like, I use the same poses every time. Let me show you the differences in lighting, because lighting actually makes a huge difference when it comes to editing a photo. When you have lighting behind you, I look super shadowy. So this is honestly better for silhouettes, but I'm not really a silhouette type of person. Also, if you go too straight on like this, you're really, really overexposed. I actually don't really like golden hour. I feel like it just makes me look too shiny. A lot of people do like golden hour because you look kind of glowy. See right here? Shadowy. We don't like that lighting. And even right here, you can see like the background is kind of plain. I also do like the lower angle because it makes me look taller. When you're posing, make sure you have movement. I tell the person, spam. Keep taking pictures until I tell you to stop. Look to the side. Those are my tips. So now let's get into the photos. When I edit my Instagram pictures, I don't facetune. I don't do any of that. Let me tell you, growing up, that kind of messed me up. The only time I will ever use something like smooth it out is probably like when I have armpit hair. I have dark hair, so my armpit hair shows. Anyways, let's just get into this video. First, we're going to use the Epic app, which is my go-to editing photo app. Thank you so much to Epic for sponsoring this video. They have every single feature you could ever look for, whether it comes to photo editing, thumbnails, Instagram stories. It is my go-to spot for every single thing. They also offer so many things that photo app, other photo, other photo apps don't offer. And it's free, so if you want to download it, click the link down below. I'm going to be using it throughout this entire video, and I'll show you how I really transform my Instagram photos. I'm gonna show you guys how it works with like a lot of different photos because I think lighting obviously makes a difference, colors obviously make a difference. I have a lot of photos, so let's start off with one of these basic tones. Not too much color going on. We don't do any of these functions. You wanna see me come taller though? Taller. I don't care about being taller. I love my height. I just go into like adjust flux. Kind of like the more shadowy on this. I usually go for really bright. Certain photos, I'll turn down the contrast, but I feel like for this one, I'd be like, nah. Let's turn up the contrast, but just a little bit. This photo is already not saturated. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. I kind of like vibrance better than I like saturation. Turn it up a little bit. Wow, there goes that matcha. With highlights, with certain photos, I'll turn them up. As you can see, I like play a lot with it. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Shadows, turn up a little bit. I love playing with the warmth. Making a photo cooler or making it warmer can totally change the entire direction of the entire photo. If I made it warmer, obviously, like, you're like, oh, wow, nice sunny day out. But make it cooler, I feel like it just looks a little bit more mysterious. Tint. Some photos are naturally greener than others. Some photos are naturally redder than others. That's if I made it all the way green. This photo is pretty green. I mean, if you put it at zero, that's what it's looking like. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I actually really like this function the best. You can basically take away as much color. I feel like when you do vibrancy and stuff, maybe you really like the saturation in the plant, but you really hate the saturation it does to your drink or something like that. This is what this is for. I hate the amount of yellow on this photo. I want it to be more concrete looking. So I'm gonna turn down the yellow saturation all the way. I'm gonna turn up the brightness on the yellow all the way. Don't like the greens in this. We're gonna take them out completely. I can even play with the color of the background, which also plays with your pants, so you have to be very careful. I really like this now. I'm gonna turn up the saturation of orange because I feel like my face right now is very washed out. If I turn up the lightness, I feel like it washes out even more. I also don't like having reds in my face, but if you notice like your lip color, if I take away all the red, my lips just go missing. Sometimes I will play around with it, like right here. I feel like I want to make my face a little brighter, so I'll do that. Let's edit another photo. I'm going to do one with a lot more saturation. 
saturation and a lot more color. So this photo has two different types of greens on it. I'm gonna start playing with the lighting. Lighting I always do first. This picture is already really bright in its natural state, so I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. This photo doesn't have much contrast. This photo is already kind of saturated, so I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit, just because I don't really like the whole orangey like YouTube 2018 era look on my Instagram. Vibrance to turn up a little bit. Highlights down a little bit. Shadow down a little bit. Look at the difference. If I make it warmer, turn it cooler, it looks like I took this on a cloudy day, which I did, but I don't want people to know that because low-key my outfit does not look prepped for a cloudy day. I'm a little bit orange in this photo, and I want to make my skin look a little brighter, so I did that. Don't like the yellow on the sidewalk again, but I don't want to take it out too much because as you can see, it took out the saturation in my face a little bit. Green. So there's a lot of freaking green in this photo. If I turn it up all the way, it's extremely green. If I turn it down all the way, it looks like I'm in the middle of a really weird forest or something. I really like the green, so I'm going to turn up a little bit. I can change the hue of the green. I can make the trees match my pants, basically. But if I want to do selective, let's say I want to adjust my coffee. If I change the color of the coffee, it's going to change the entire tone of my skin. You can choose the range that you want it to be in. So I want it to be kind of small because obviously it is literally my coffee cup. If I want to turn up the brightness of my coffee, I can, which does not change the brightness of my skin. I really like this aspect. I've used many photo editing apps and I feel like this is the first one I've come across that allows me to do this, which I love. Now, these ones are nighttime photos and I feel like nighttime photos are a little bit harder for me at least to edit than daytime photos because you don't have a lot more light. Adjust flux again a little bit up. I need this photo to be way brighter than it is. This photo already has like a natural contrast to it with all the light since it was again nighttime. Saturation, I'm just gonna turn back up a little bit. Vibrance, I feel like just a little bit again. Highlights, I'm gonna turn it up. I'm pretty shadowy. Warmth, I could go totally two different routes with this photo. I could make her cooler or I could make her warmer. I really like the cool look. We do need to adjust the colors more saturated, a little bit brighter. Rip the yellows. Also, if I take them out all the way, I'm so freaking pale. I do like having a little bit of yellow in this photo. I feel like it gives me more of a natural skin tone. Blue, the thing that I'm sitting on, I like the fact that I can make it tealer, make it muted or more bright, which I want to make it more bright because I feel like this photo in itself was very angsty girl tea. There we go. There we freaking go. And if I wanted to, look at this. Bye bye. No more car in the background. This is a before, that's the after. Everybody's just walking around the city. It's hard to find like a clean background. Oh, oh, I have a good one. 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 So I just went to a Keshi concert. Keshi is just the love of my life. We got hella people with phones. I'm not gonna be a little hypocrite because I was also on my phone at this concert. If we want this to just be about Mr. Keshi himself, let's get rid of all that. Look, do you see her phone? Now we got a phone-free Keshi photo. Thanks, Keshi. Last photo. Let's do like a selfie. Should we? I don't know, I get kind of scared. I really like this photo of myself, but I don't like how many oranges there are in it. Straight to adjust again, maybe like an 11. I do want to turn down the highlights a little bit. I do want to turn down the shadows a little bit. This photo is hella warm. So I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn up the saturation, bring up the lightness. I just want to glow. The hard part about this is I hate the yellow tones, but if I take it out, I dead ass look like I'm in the 1950s. It's honestly kind of cute though. So we're gonna turn it down just a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna change the reds in this photo. If I take it all, see what happens to my lips? Gone, bro. I kinda of like it just burnt lips. If I wanted to, I could add these like glitters to the back, which low key, I wasn't going to add glitters, but I kinda of like it because my look is just very sparkly. The intensity of the glitter, if you want to be more bright, if you want to be a little more like subtle. You can also pick how much it goes along the walls and the floor. This is so cute, I'm posting this. That's how I edit my Instagram photos. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed me. And, oh my God, I have to pee so bad. That matcha really just did it to me. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, my stubby hurts. I could get a massage right now. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, make sure you were like. If you really like me, don't forget to subscribe. Comment anything you want down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, broskies. Now I'm running with you around these. Let's sing. I got copyrighted, so enjoy this outro for now.